<laughs> uh, of course I was trying to hit the net. Yeah. Uh, but hockey's a game where you very much have to take advantage of, of what's given you. And, uh, and that was one of those instances where a little luck on your side, you know, being aggressive and catch a few people maybe flat-footed a bit. And it worked out. What do you think that goal uh, added confidence in the, in the quest to pull an upset there? Made people say, hey, yeah, we can yeah, do possibly, this. I guess. You know, well, I think the first, winning the first game probably uh, was went a big way in that as well. But uh, you know, then maybe getting that second game probably really cemented the idea that yeah, we can do it. And, uh, you know, but if you score a goal, but you know, the, the beauty is I played with so many guys that blocked shots or you know did stuff that didn't make highlights, but there's a reason why we won. And uh, it's nice to score those highlight goals and have some of that stuff to show your kids that you actually. You know, could play hockey, but uh, you know, there's a lot that goes into it more than those big. Players. They don't believe you that you could play hockey. Well, they believe it, but they still think they know more than you. So. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. What's the difference between winning here and winning out there? Was there, was there, was there a different feeling when you went out there? Uh, not, not drastically. Um, you know, it. Uh, Maybe one of the unique things about winning there was that I, I was with, I mean, I don't think there was anyone else in the team that had won before. So there was a lot of older players that had played a long time, my brother being one of them, that to see how excited they were um, was a neat experience. You know, like I said, when I went here first, I think I was just 21, turning 22. So that, you know, not a lot of water under the bridge there. You're just kind of excited to win a Stanley Cup, you're not understanding all the things that go into it. you appreciate it more when you're yeah, I mean, I was excited to win it. Don't get me wrong, and I and I thought it was the best thing in the world, which it is. Um, but you don't really understand uh, how hard it is and everything that goes into it, and the sacrifices and the, the unselfishness of your teammates that, that needs to be there. And um, as you get around, you learn those things, and yeah, you do appreciate it. When you wanted the Ducks, you, you could look at some of those younger players who had never been there and didn't know what they were going through and know exactly what they were going through. Did did, did that help? Did they come to you? Did you talk to them at those times and bring yeah. back some of your devil's memories? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I relied on every, you know, every experience I had, and uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully it helped. You know, I was obviously in a leadership role in that situation, and uh, right from those experiences as a kid uh, to everything you've learned along the way, hopefully you're, you're using that to your advantage to, to the team. Uh, that's what I tried to do. I, I learned a lot um, from a lot of the coaches, from a lot of the players, and how to do that. Uh, you know, it was probably a benefit. Uh, Anaheim benefited from, from a lot of things that happened. How, how far ahead did you? Were you pretty sure that the Devils were going to pick you in the draft? Did you know? I, I, I wasn't. I wouldn't. I don't know if I would use the word pretty sure, but I had a feeling that that's where I was going to end up. I, I knew I wasn't going to Quebec. Um, there was a guy here, Lindros, that uh, <laughs> you know was out there, and uh, then Pat Falloon was another player that was drafted second, and he had had a great year in, in junior. They won the Memorial Cup, so I, I just had a feeling that he was going to probably be the next guy, and then it was a question, you know, after that what would happen. But I had a good feeling from New Jersey, you know, whether it was just the meetings I had or, or you know, the, the feedback I got from them. But uh, I, I had a feeling it might be.